है एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू हियर डोंट फोगेट टू सब्सक्राइब सो दैट यू गेट मोर अमेजिंग एक्सेल टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स इफ यू आर अ रिटर्निंग व्यूअर ग्रेट टू हैव यू बैक एवर स्ट्रगल्ड विद मेकिंग द बेस्ट डिसीशन वेन यू हैव गॉट मल्टीपल ऑप्शन एंड कंस्ट्रेंट्स दिस इज वे सॉल्व अ स्टेप्स इन ना वेदर यू आर ट्राइंग टू ऑप्टिमाइज कॉस्ट मैक्सिमाइज प्रॉफिट or probably trying to find the perfect balance between different variables excel solver helps you reach or get the best possible solution and that too automatically now in this video i'll be showing you how to use solver in a simple and practical way so that you can apply solver to your everyday real life problems okay real life data analysis problems right so let's dive in now out here if you see this simple data we are running a digital marketing campaign okay wherein we have got different campaign types we have designed different or rather we have decided upon investing in different campaign types so there are facebook ads google ads youtube ads instagram ads linkedin twitter email influencer ads display ads and affiliate ads so these are the types where we would be investing so there are 10 types of different categories where we have thought of investing next uh, column we have the cost for each type of ad for a particular campaign so for each campaign the cost for facebook ads is around 12000 rupees for google ads 16500 so let's say these these datas have already been determined by the company who is putting up this advertisement next is per campaign these are the revenues that are expected to be generated and probably there is some past data where they have found out that this is the generate a rev revenue that can be generated per campaign so these all the data that you have have here is per campaign along with that there is another column which says the number of people that these ads these particular ads could reach and these are also data per campaign right and the last column that we have is the number of campaigns that we are going to run so these data so from uh, cell number b3 right through cell number d12 these are all given data these we cannot uh, change anything out here because these figures have been given by the company out here we need to design a total campaign wherein or rather we we need to uh, use the advertising budget in such a way and select the campaigns in such a way so that we reach certain results right so what are the results that the company expects us to reach now the, the now the main constraint is or the the main objective rather the main objective is to maximize profit right so we are all in a whenever you are doing a business or doing whatever uh, commercial activity that you are doing the objective is to maximize profit so out here again we are running advertisements to maximize profit right but along with that there are certain constraint the company does not have unlimited budget so the budget to total budget should be less than or equal to 5 lakh so that is our budget we have to run campaigns within 5 lakhs but even if we are running a campaign within 5 lakhs there is another constraint that minimum reach so it should reach a minimum of 15 lakh people right so we are free to choose the number of campaigns so for example we can um, choose five campaigns of uh, facebook ads three campaigns of linkedin ads two campaigns of influencer ads but it should reach a minimum of 15 lakh people next constraint is the company has decided that each of the type or each of the category campaign type should at least have two campaigns running right so it should not be that we put all the money in facebook ads or the maximum money is put into let's say facebook google ads youtube ads and instagram ads and the rest are zero okay we don't invest in these uh, these uh, categories right so each type of each type of campaign should get at least two or rather each category should get at least two campaigns okay and there is one more constraint fine we are giving two campaigns per category but the maximum selection per each type should be 10 so it should not be such that we give two two campaigns of, for each of the categories and then we give 
15 campaigns to uh, YouTube. So it should not be designed in such a way that we to put too much money in one particular category. So there are a lot of constraints that has been given to us. And based on these constraints, we need to find out how many campaigns do we design for each of the categories so that we can maximize profit. Okay. So this is where solver comes into play. Now out here, there, there's a pre-filled formula section or other pre-filled cells where we have put in formula. I'll show you quickly. Uh, the first one is total cost. How did we at, uh, arrive at total cost? Total cost is basically the sum product of cost into number of campaigns. Okay. Now, if you know what sum product is, fine. If you do not know what sum product is, there's a separate video on sum product, which you can go and see and find out how to use sum product. Okay. Now, in for this particular example, you need not know or did not be using sum product. This is a pre-filled, pre-populated uh, cell. I just wanted to show you how these uh, figures have been arrived. Now, total revenue is again revenue per campaign into number of campaign. Then we have got profit, very simple, which is total revenue minus total cost, right? And finally, we have got the total reach, which is again reach per campaign into number of campaign. Now, before we start, that figure three, these, these are just random numbers that we have given. So these are random numbers. We ca it, you, you can also put two, one, whatever you like to, because this is where the solver will work, right? We will use solver to find out the best possible combination so that we get this desired output, okay? So let's start with solver. So to find solver, you need to go to the data tab on the top of your screen and right to the right, you will find this analysis part where there is solver. Now, in case you couldn't find solver in your data tab, go to the file options. Within option, there is a, a button for add-ins. Within add-ins, there's a section which says Excel add-ons. Click on go. Here you will see a checkbox for solver. In case you could not find solver on the data tab, just go and check. Probably this is unchecked. You can check this and you'll get the solver. For my case, it has already been ticked. Okay. Now let's click on solver and see how this can be done. So as I click on solver, the solver parameter window opens up in front of me. Okay. Now let's see the first thing that it asks for is the objective. If you remember, what is our objective? You don't need to remember. I've already written maximum total, maximize total profit. So that should be maximized. So whatever investment, whatever constraints are there, working on those constraints, the profit should be maximized. So we'll first go to this cell, which is cell number B17, click on it. So this is the uh, cell for profit to max. So there are different options. You can max, main, value of. So in our case, we will be maximizing profit. By changing, the next thing that it asks for is by changing variable cells. So what are our variables? We are here to find the best mix. So I'll select this column which is column uh, cell number E3 through E12. These are the cells which I need to adjust and find out the best mix so that all my constraints are met. Okay, now let's come into the constraints one by one. The first constraint that I have is total campaign cost should not be more than 5 lakhs. Okay, so I'll add a constraint wherein cell reference where do we have the campaign cost out here, which is cell number B15 should be less than or equal to 5 lakhs. So I'll add it. The next constraint is minimum reach or the total estimated reach should be more than equal to 15 lakhs. So the campaigns, whatever campaigns in whatever um, variations we run, it should at least reach 15 lakh people. So I have my reach in cell number B18. That should be greater than or equal to 15 lakhs. Okay. We'll add it. Third constraint is minimum selection per type should be greater than or equal to 2 as we discussed. Each type 
each campaign type or each uh, category that we uh, choose should be greater than equal to 2 so i'll use the cell reference this figure should be greater than or equal to 2 so minimum we are investing in two campaigns per category right problem solved and the final uh, constraint is maximum selection per type should not be more than 10 once again Similarly, minimum is 2 and maxi maximum should be less than or equal to 10, right? Now, if I press the cancel key, here you have all your constraint, right? And now, one more important checkbox out here, make unconstrained variables non-negative. If you, you can click on this or if you do not have this option, you can add one more constraint out here and say that these values should be 0 or greater than 0 which is non negative why i'll tell you because the solver or excel will work on pure mathematics right now it will not use a human logic to find out the best possible solution now it may so happen that it allocates different campaigns to number of campaigns to different type and it may so happen there are few types where the suggested number of campaigns is in negative minus two campaigns minus three campaigns just to arrive at the best figure now let's say you if you have uh, such a situation that it advises that twitter ads there should be minus two twitter ads so how do you how do you advertise minus two twitter ads so that you need to be very careful and uh, either you check mark this box or you add another constraint wherein you say that it should be greater than or equal to 0 right now we have put in all our constraint let's press the solve key to find out what result it gives us okay so i'll click on it so it has got two options i can keep the solver solution or restore the original values let's remove this and see what it has given us so it has given us the best possible solution but if you can see out here it is suggesting 4.29 twitter ads now how do you give 4.29 campaigns to twitter how do you uh, check into twitter ads and give 4.2 uh, campaigns so this is where you need to give one more constraint okay so i'll cancel this i'll go back to solver and i'll add one more constraint which says that cell reference these should be an integer so i don't want any decimal value okay neither negative nor decimal value okay so now hopefully everything is fine i'll just click on the solve button and let's see what it does for us so solver has given us a solution wherein if you see each of the constraint total budget should be less than or equal to 5 lakhs total cost column or the cost cell is 4 lakh 97 thousand so the first uh, condition is met it's less than 5 lakhs total reach should be more than 15 lakhs so the total reach as per this is around 16 lakhs right 16 lakhs 760 you can uh, move the decimal column it's not needed but it's 16 lakhs 760 so it's more than 15 lakhs right minimum selection per type should be greater than 2 so solver has selected more than 2 the minimum it has it has applied this condition wherein at least two campaigns are uh, dedicated to each type right the maximum selection should be 10 so it has given 10 ads to uh, 10 campaigns to instagram and 10 to affiliate ads but it has not gone beyond 10 right now uh, keeping all those constraints the maximum profit that we can earn is 8,95,000 right so this is what solver is all about when you have got multiple constraints you might have a very complicated data and there are multiple constraints and you need to find the best possible solution this is where solver will help you now i have shown you this example you can use it in your practical day to day data analysis work and use solver to reach at the best possible solution right so if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions on this or anything on excel 
write it in the comment box and I'll get back to you with the solution. Thank you for watching.